and welcome to Mythical Meeples. Today I'll be unboxing Warhammer 40,000 Boarding Patrol Drakari. With the release of Arcs of Omen, we were introduced to a new way of playing Warhammer 40,000, boarding actions. With this came a new faction box called Boarding Patrol for each and every faction. Within the Drakari box, we get 26 miniatures. So as you can see here, we get two lots of 10 witches, five incubi, and one succubus. This gives a nice solid core for any army, regardless of whether you're paying boarding actions or starting a new Drakari army. So without further ado, let's look inside the box. So within the box, we get several instruction booklets, one for the witches, one for the incubi, and one for the succubus. We also get a bunch of 25mm bases and some 28mm bases for the incubi, and then a host of sprues. So you get a little one for the succubus, these three small ones for the incubi, and then two lots of two larger ones for the witches. There's also a transfer sheet for your Drakari. So you can see the different symbols here of the different Drakari. So we're going to start with the witches. So you can see here, here's the two different sprues. We've also got different options for heads and bodies, so you can mix and match. So you've got the parts to build a Hecatrix. It's your sort of uh, unit leader. You've got options for building a Witch with Hydra Gauntlets, Shardnet and Impaler, and a Witch with Razor Flails, and then the rest of your Witches are armed with Splinter Pith Stools and Close Combat Weapons. So as you can see here, each one is sort of comprised of two parts for the legs, two parts for the torso, and then two arms and a head option. So they're fairly straightforward to build. You've got lots of different options that you can make with them so that each witch looks different. And obviously you've got a few different special weapons you can include in your unit as well. So looking at the sprue, you can see clearly all of the different parts. You can see the leg options here, each pair of legs is together. All of the pistols are here. Bodies are all here. The head's up here. They're all numbered as well, so it does make it a bit easier to put each bit together. So here you can see three and four, so these are the two legs you'd need to go together. And again, down here with the Hydra Gauntlets, you can see that they're numbered. We can see here as well that these sprues came out around 2010, with a whole range of Drakari models came out then. So you can see how detailed they are, even despite their age. Um, you can see all the armor platings, you've got little sort of nodules on the legs. Um, see the detail on the razor flails and the hands. Let's have a look at mold lines. So looking at the legs here, you can't really see any. Um, you can, from this angle, you can see on the front of the leg. Um, so the cleanup for these might require a bit of time, but the assembly of the model should be really straightforward. They've got the slot base to stick into as well, so that helps with the balance. You're not just trying to stick this tiny little part of the foot onto the model. And your Hecatrix stands out with the sort of static pose compared to the rest of the witches. So yeah, you can see sort of on the legs, the mold lines there again. Um, but yeah, they should be easy to build. A little bit of cleanup required, but really nicely detailed models. So next we're going to look at the succubus. So succubus is like a HQ version of the witch, really high up one. You can see, again, she's not made up of many different parts. She's got 10, so she's a little bit more complicated than the witches. But part of that's the head, 
and you've got these two extra bits that you stick on here again she's quite easy to build you've got a uh, leg and torso you stick the other leg on back of the uh, torso and then the two arms the head and uh, the back trophy so looking at the sprue you can see she's just as detailed as the witches if not more so you can see the individual armor plates making up the arm the nodules you've got sort of fur or hair hanging off of the glaive you've got her whip you've got the fur cloak or skin on the back of her torso see her hair here it's a really detailed model I'm trying to see if we can see any mold lines not really can't make many out on the spear and you can see all the hair detail just by looking at her not much on the mold line front so she should be relatively easy to clean up and a little bit more complicated than the witches to put together but you'll make up for this by she's got a little less cleanup required and you can see how detailed the torso is here finally we've got the incubi so you can see here just by looking at this they're already a lot more complicated to build than the witches or the succubi they've got lots more different parts to them or at least they appear to um, you've got a couple of different options for build as well you've got yanari incubi or jukari incubi and then you've got a few different options for the unit champion as well the clavex so you can see here you've got the assembly you've got the leg to the body front of the torso back parts the different arms and then the head as well comes in two different pieces if you go for the drukari or one if you go for your nari you can see as well you've got different head options that you can choose from if you go for the nari option so again these are slightly slightly more complicated than the witches but not much simply just because of the parts on the back so you've got leg armor and which attaches to the main body back pieces then you've got the arms and then the head which comes in two pieces or one if you're going inari so they're pretty similar across the board the main change is sort of posing of the arm um, you can see you've just got a few different options there so these are the newest of the sprues, so I expect them to be the most detailed and cleanest. They came out in 2019. So you can see you can see the sort of different folds, the tiny holes in the cloth, sort of armor plating on the leg. It's really detailed. You've got the runes in the um, weapons. These are really detailed sprues. It's great for painters. And then we've also got the other sprue here. So again, you can see the runes in the swords. You've got this little statue. Then you can see this is the Clavex's weapon. Really, really detailed models. You can see the Inari heads here as well. Very fearsome looking. Nothing to stop you using them for your Trakari. Uh, let's have a quick look for mold lines so these are really sleek models so you can see 
straight away actually there's a can't tell if it's a mold line no that's just an armor join so it looks like it should be a mold line but it's just where the armor joins up there is a little bit of a mold line just in between the legs there you can't really make it out it's quite hard to spot um, it's a bit more prominent on the back of the leg here though so just here you can make out the mold line but should not require too much clean up looking at them the heads are pretty clean as well So yeah, really detailed models and not much clean up to do. So they probably take a little bit longer to assemble than your witches, but they take less time to clean up. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to pick up this box or any other Games Workshop product, please head over to Element Games. If you use the link in the description below, I will get a 5% kickback as well. So it's a way of supporting me and you get a discount off of all Games Workshop products. If you want to support me in other ways, you can like, comment, subscribe. This is all free. Helps me grow as a channel and be seen by more people. You can also support me by becoming a member of Mythical Meeples, where you'll gain access to extra content, sneak previews, behind the scenes. Uh, you'll get similar content as well by becoming a Patreon. And once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.